everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Charlene Clemson, mum of four boys and wife to Tom. And this is my brand new channel. This is my first ever haul video. It's my first ever video that's not a vlog. We've only done a few already, but this is my first ever non-vlog video for my YouTube channel. Um, so it's going to be a Poundland haul. If you like those sort of videos, if you like speed cleaning videos, um, mommy advice, mom hacks, that kind of thing, then do go ahead and click subscribe because if you're like me, you probably turn to YouTube quite often for advice and tips and how to's on how to do stuff and that's really what I want to do on my channel. So if that's something you enjoy then click that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get your notifications in your sub box every time I go um, and pop a video onto YouTube. I'm going to try and do three videos a week or we'll see how that goes. But to start with I thought I would do a home haul, um, a Poundland haul. I've also got a home bargains haul coming up. Um, and this is a bit of a cleaning haul. I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning videos on my channel, speed cleaning and hacks and that kind of thing. So I thought I would start off with my Poundland haul of things that I keep in my cleaning cupboard and in my cleaning caddy. My gorgeous cleaning caddy who I love because it just makes my life so much simpler. If you'd like to see a video of what's in my cleaning caddy, then comment below and I'll more than likely do a video on that anyway. But if you'd like to see that, then pop a little, vid a little comment in the uh, comments boxes. So I'll just get into it. Um, we went to Poundland at the weekend and we kind of go probably once a month just to stock up on stuff so that we um, we have everything that we need. By, me, by we, I mean me, I have all, everything that I need to keep on top of the house because as you can imagine with four kids, it gets really messy, really grubby, really quickly. So first thing I grabbed was a... Um, mighty oven cleaner now this stuff it's really great because it's got like big ziploc bags in it so you just take your racks out of your oven stick them in the ziploc bags leave them overnight and then i don't even know if you're meant to do this but i take them out in the morning and put them in my dishwasher i don't know if that might be damaging my dishwasher if you know then let me know um but yeah I, instead of scrubbing them myself i pop them in my dishwasher and then they come out really lovely and clean the leftover bit then that, that's in the bottle you put that in the bottom of the oven clean it all out the next morning and your oven is lovely and clean it's not the most natural of things it is actually it's got a corrosive warning on it so if anybody knows any more natural ways of cleaning your oven then please let me know because i do try and do things as kind of natural based product as i can where i can um, some of the products that I've got actually today weren't actually a pound. I've got some home bits as well. So there's some 50p things. I'll show you them towards the end of the video. But first of all, like I said, I'm going to do the cleaning stuff. I then grabbed a couple of packs of microfiber cloths. These are their new ones and then you get three in a pack. Um, there's a multi-purpose one, a kitchen and bathrooms one and a glass and mirrors one. It was a glass and mirrors one that actually attracted me to these because we've got big, huge... Um, Black mirrored wardrobe doors in our bedroom and they're really difficult to keep smear free especially like I say with all the boys sticky fingers that kind of thing so that's what attracted to be that and I'll probably use the blue ones in the bathrooms blue for bathroom and then the pink ones downstairs in our kitchen so I've got those and then also this is a bit of a boring one but I picked up a big um I actually got two of these one of them's already been used in the kitchen the big blue rolls um blue rolls blue roll grime buster basically kitchen roll with attitude um great for cleaning windows great for mopping up spills just kitchen roll um then i grabbed two different types of color catchers because i try and do a wash load a day as you can imagine again as a family of six we get loads and loads of laundry try and do a wash load a day but that doesn't always mean that i've got like a full load of whites or a full load of colors i'll always do dark separately but I thought if I grab these, I can chuck everything in together and I'm less likely to get like pink t-shirts because the boys' uniform's red. So I'm less likely to get like pink t-shirts that started out white. I'm going to give them a go. I picked up two different kinds just to see if one is better than the other. Um, one of them is Dylan and one of them is a make called Wash Days. So there's 10 sheets in the Wash Days one and there are... Oh, there's 10 sheets in that one as well. So I'll give them a go. I'll let you know how they work and if they work and if it means I can just do one load of washing a day, which would be fabulous. I also grabbed a big pack of toothbrushes. Now these are, again, to go in my cleaning caddy. I'll probably put a couple in my cleaning caddy and then a couple in my, my cupboard. And um, These are to just use for cleaning. So, you know, like round the taps, where you can't get your fingers in, scrubbing around the bottom of the shower, that kind of thing. Um, just a really quick, easy way to, you know, get the job done, 
speed is of the essence, time is of the essence. So I always grab a pack of just cheap, almost disposable in a way, toothbrush brushes. And then again, here's me saying, oh, I love like all natural stuff, but the toilets, I've got men and then aim isn't great when they're aged between two and seven so i like to make sure that the toilets are really nice and clean all the time and for that i use harpic power plus this is the original scent one i'm not really bothered about what it smells like i just need it to do the job and keep the toilets really clean i usually put this down the toilets of an evening before we go to bed so it's doing its job while we've got three toilets in this house or we'll have when we do the downstairs toilet again but um yeah it's it's just really strong gets rid of the lime scale gets rid of any stainings the toilets in this house have been in here since the house was built like 20 years ago so they do get built upon them and things like that they're not as easy to keep clean in my opinion as a brand new toilet so that's a must in this house for us and then the next thing was um a pack of magic erasers if you are a parent and your kids use toys which is most likely these are absolutely Oh look, somebody's actually bitten a chunk out of this one by somebody that will be Zach, the smallest one. They're just like, oh these are quite big actually. These are bigger than the last ones that I had. I could cut these in half. They're just like a really dense foam um, sponge, but if you wet them, you just have to put water on them. You can get scuff marks off your laminate flooring, you can get marks off of walls and it doesn't damage the paintwork. Um, they're really good in the, in the bath if you get like um, marks in the bath from where they've been playing with their toys in the bath. Uh, they're just brilliant. Really, really great thing to keep in your cleaning caddy or in your cleaning cupboard. Um, just to have on hand if you do get any marks that you can't get rid of easily. And you don't have to use any detergents with them. Um, I know that Flash do their own version as well, but I've, I've found, to be honest, these Poundland um, Clean Zone, their own kind of brand, work just as well. They're really, really good. Then the next last thing, and um, my cleaning part of the haul, is my Zoflora. I absolutely love Zoflora. It seems to have blown up. Like, I stock up. When they've got new, new fragrances and new smells, I, I stock up. Um, I ha This company's been around since 1920. And I remember my nan using this back in the day when it was in little glass bottles. But it's in little plastic bottles now. But, uh, yeah, it just reminds me of being little. And I absolutely love it. You get four and a half litres. It's a concentrated disinfectant. And you get four and a half litres out of each bottle. I use it for all sorts of things. I'm going to actually do a um, 10 top tips for using Zoflora around the home video. So keep your eyes out for that. And if you do use Zoflora, just comment below what your favourite scent is. Because I... I just love them all, but I know people are starting to really get into Zoflora now, and I think my favourite is actually, um, it's Bokeh is my favourite, but then the limited edition ones, which I'm hoping they're going to have in, um, in soon, is the, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, citrusy smells, so like the, oh actually, when I did my home bargains shop, I, I actually did get one pink grapefruit amazing so yeah keep hold keep looking um out for my home bargains haul because i'll be able to show you that one on there as well and also for the zoflora video that i've got coming up because i'm going to show you loads of different ways to use this and the way that i use it around the home as well oh i'm dropping them all over the place so that's that bag empty that was all of my cleaning stuff then i did go ahead and grab another few little bits as i was, as I was going round because We've been doing um, some planting some vegetables and things in the garden with the boys this year. Just as a little thing, it's kind of like a, a free thing basically to do at the weekend. So if you're on a budget, we went out and we spent like £30 on vegetable plants, fruit plants, um, strawberries, tomatoes, that kind of thing. Cucumbers. And we're growing them in the garden with the boys. They're kind of at an age now where they really like to get involved. So um when i literally as i walked through the doors of poundland they've got these tubs now we've bought a raspberry bush and a blueberry bush and you get two for a pound you just have to drill the holes in the bottom and i thought these would be perfect for those as we're growing them on and then we'll have to transplant them again but while we're growing them on these are like the perfect size but then i was walking i've, I've not taken the car into town and i was like oh what am i going to do i'm going to need compost and then i found this which was perfect it's a block of compressed cocoa soil and um, basically all you do is you put this in a big bucket 
and then you add water and it gives you 10 litres of compost. So that's going to be absolutely perfect. So I grabbed two of those and I just put, put them under my push chair and I was good to go. I didn't have to lump a great big bag of compost around with me. So I'm going to do those this afternoon with the boys when they come home from school. And then we needed to just grab some but, um, bubble bath for the boys. They've got quite sensitive skin, so... It's important when I'm buying bubble bath and stuff that I make sure that it's all hypoallergenic and everything. And I spotted this. It's the Mum and Me by Cousins Little Explorers Mega Mile Bubbly Bath. Hypoallergenic, suitable for sensitive skin, derm dermatologist approved. And it smells like apples. It's absolutely beautiful. So I grabbed that. Don't know what it's like in the bath yet. I'll have to let you know. If you've used it, let me know if it's any good. But for a pound it's a really big bottle as well 500 mil so i thought i'd grab that give that a go and also huggies upside down huggies wipes i love these wipes my favorite wipes well yeah my favorite wipes are the owlsy ones the mamia ones they i just think they're brilliant but we these are sort of my second go-to so and these were down to 50 pence so i grabbed four packets of these um and you get 56 wipes in each packet so I've got hundreds of wipes for £2, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. And come, let's face it, right? Baby wipes are the Swiss Army knife of parenthood. I don't care what anybody says. I don't just use them on the kids, sticky fingers and dirty bums. I use them for all sorts. I've been known to wipe down the sides in the kitchen with them, mop up spills, wipe down the car, you know, like the dashboard on the car and get that all nice and clean using the baby wipe. I use them for everything. I've took that, you shouldn't really, but I've taken my makeup off with them. They're just, they're an essential as a parent, aren't they? I'm getting, like, surrounded by stuff now. Every time I go into the pound shop as well, I always pick up a packet of batteries. Again, we've got four children, so we have a hell of a lot of toys that need batteries. So I've just got a box in my utility room where I grab batteries whenever I see them, either on offer or if I go into the pound shop. I've got a hair in my eye. And um, I just pop them in the box, and then I know that I've got them then for got dust in my eye that, that hurt right anyway um then at the till point oh no i've still got more stuff we'll come back to that i was in the gardening section and i spotted this now a few months a couple of years ago i should say somebody bought me i can't even remember who it was bought me an orchid and generally speaking i kill house plants I, I kill house plants so I um I saw this and I've managed to keep this orchid alive. It needs repotting, but I saw this and I thought it's re growing its little stems and everything. I thought I'd get it. It provides essential nutrients, orchid mister, promotes healthy growth and flowering. And like for a pound, I've, like I've looked at the um at the garden centre at the orchid stuff and it's quite expensive so i thought i'd grab this for a pound provides the plant with essential nutrients um, required for healthy growth and vibrant blooms missed in once a week well so it's once a week it's going to last ages um natural environment boosting the plant's overall vigor and growth apply lightly misting the green uh, apply by lightly misting all green leaves of the orchid so i'll let you know how that goes and if my orchid blooms which i'm hoping it will because i did everything i went on youtube and i looked at what i needed to do and i cut the stems down and i did all that and i've been watering it and it's shot back up again but it's just a stick at the moment so we'll see i don't know if i'm gonna get any flowers but that can't hurt can it um and then i love there's so many youtubers that i absolutely love um lucy jessica carter um lisa there's an uh, oh mama reed ash and i've seen loads of them buying these hydrangeas and i thought i'm not really sure if they're going to be very good quality um and they'd finally had them in in my poundland and i was actually quite blown away i used to be in the wedding industry and finding good quality artificial flowers is really difficult and i honestly think these are really great i've got one stem in my window in in the living room and that was 15 pounds from a um from a warehouse years ago but one stem was 15 pounds and to be honest the quality is not much different to these so i actually grabbed two of these a pound of stem and it's got the markers on it so you can cut it down to fit into a vase or whatever you however you want it or 
if you are creating kind of a backdrop or something like that i'm going to be doing a lot of diys on my channel as well so if you like that sort of thing make sure you click subscribe i think you'll be able to yeah you can actually pull the heads off so if you were getting married and you wanted to create a flower backdrop for perhaps like um, a photo wall or a selfie station you could create something really beautiful with these quite cheaply um just by pulling the heads off and then popping them onto um a board so yeah little little how to hack there for you um if you want to see things like that then drop me a little comment i, I was in the wedding industry for like quite a few years and i absolutely loved it i miss it but i don't do it anymore but if you want to see some wedding hacks then let me know i'd love to do anything that you want to see like that let me know then i found a 50p section and if you watch youtube a lot if you watch these hauls a lot you may have seen these vases they did this shape and they did kind of like a more kind of a fat kind of almost like a heart shape kind of one in pink but i wanted the gray one and it was down to 50p and they got loads and loads of them so i grabbed one of these and i'm going to put my hydrangeas in it on the windowsill in my bedroom because i'm going to be introducing that kind of pinky color into my bedroom because it's all gray at the moment so i'm going to pop that on the windowsill in my bedroom and then i found these and these were the last two these little jar um little cups glasses they were 50 pence each reduced to 50 pence each and they're so pretty i don't know if you can see that on the camera i'm sure you can they're like cut glass but not cut glass well no they are they're like cut glass and they're so pretty in this pink color and what i'm going to do with these i'm just literally going to put one either side of the bed so my side and tom's side just for us to have drinks in it of an evening like of a night time we have a glass of water but they're going to add that little pop of pink, which I'm really pleased with those for 50 pence. They feel really expensive. They look like something from Anthropology or Laura, um, Laura Ashley or something like that. They look really expensive. So I love things like that when they look expensive, but they, they were really cheap. I love anything like that. I think it's really good. So I got those. And then when I was at the till point, I grabbed these. These are a favourite snack in our house. Cheese savouries, Crawford's cheese savouries. They are super retro but super yummy and the boys all love them um we've got a little snack pot stack thing and it's great put like things like those you can pop in that pop it in my baby bag and i know i've always got a snack because you know when you leave the house the kids are like oh, mum hungry as soon as you leave the front door and it's like what and they're not like the best in thing in the world for them to eat but they're quick they're simple they're not messy and they're yummy so that is officially my first ever Poundland haul. If you like these kind of videos, like I said, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more hauls, cleaning videos, um, mom hacks, how-tos, that kind of thing. Some DIYs. We are renovating different areas of our house as well. So I'm going to be including that. And we're also going to be doing family vlogs as well. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.